guys i hope everybody is doing well i know that i have taken some time off from youtube i had an emergency in my family and i've just been dealing with that so i apologize um, but i will make videos i've just been dealing with uh, some personal stuff it's been intense i've wanted to make videos and go through some things but if you watched my last few videos that's why i went through the premium equilibrium and discount zones because we were entering a range bound market that's why i made the video about uh you know if we go below the 200 jp morgan had sent uh excuse me had set the 50 billion in quants or algos which i had said would probably turn into like 100 billion in a minute well it ended up being about two trillion um so this right here was five trillion uh, so you can see the power of these algos and it's been an algo type of market. It's been difficult. Uh, you know, I take the 200 seriously and the primary trend, whether it's an up primary uptrend or a primary downtrend. The fact that all of the indexes are below the 200 and now the Dow is back under the primary downtrend, uh, that is not good, right? There's a lot of things going on. We had a wild week in the markets last week. We had the testimony for uh, Jerome Powell. We had Silvergate uh, being able to not file. I knew that was going to be a problem. Uh, I was telling my friends and people in my Discord that the news has not really wrapped their hands around that. And lo and behold, two days later, they really did. And now SIVB. Uh, and when you see banking regulators and FDIC hop on the first plane, uh, they're thinking contagion, counterparty risk, and you know will other banks fail which is why crypto is pumping because it's the first time ever that banks have failed since, since crypto has been born um which people probably think of it as a safe haven like i would so it's pumping on the weekend however historically when banks do fall uh a lot of things can happen one real estate can drop uh two stocks can drop very fast uh, you already have all-time high defaults since 2008 on subprime mortgages. So since banks are, you know, they only hold 3% of the money and lend out 97% due to fractional reserve laws, there's a lot of virtual money and the system's built on debt. So if there's bank runs like Silvergate or SIVB, it could be a big problem. An example is Circle in crypto had $7.1 billion with SIVB, but they're only insured for 250 grand. That hasn't really come out uh, into the price action yet. So <clears throat> there's a lot of variables this week. Um, if banks do fall, there could be an urgent congressional hearing. There could be bailouts. It could you know, change the mind of the Fed to maybe not be as hawkish and do a quarter percent so all those times when you hear on tv and people talking about uh the fed is too hawkish raising 0 0.75 0 0.75 0 0.75 0 0.5 something will break eventually well this is what they mean when the banks start breaking uh it usually means it's about to hit the fan so what i did was and i'm going to show you how i did it and i've showed you before but i'm just going to show you again what I did was I just non-emotionally took all the things I had worked on since way back here when I bought and took all the profits. I, everything that was basically green, I, I had sold it. Tesla, you name it, I sold it. And I moved all the cash to the side. It's time to be defensive, okay? There's a time to be aggressive and there's a time to be defensive, okay? I had made the video, if we have a sudden fall, what you do is you buy those leverage bears. Well, I did that and all of those went up a lot. So if you did that, congratulations, you killed it. Um, so yeah, the Dow below the 200 has the pink lights rejected off this, this pivot high, this pivot high, this failed attempt multiple times, it couldn't get through it and now it's back in the primary downtrend. We'll see if it bounces. We're gonna need data. We're gonna need to hear, we're gonna hear from Janet Yellen at the Treasury. We're gonna hear from probably the executive branch. Um, you know, banks failing, it's a big deal. And they just seized Signature Bank as well. And when that news came out, crypto started to rally. So this is probably what Bitcoin has dreamed of its entire uh, existence since birth uh, that, you know, Fiat and TradFi would fail. 
And so I think crypto is running on that note. However, you know, you also got to consider things like Silvergate. Silvergate was the bridge. It was the bridge. If you wanted to send money from your bank to your exchange, it handled the transaction, the bridge transaction from like your bank to say Coinbase. And if you wanted to move money from Coinbase back to your bank, Silvergate would handle that transaction as an example. Well, they did that for Gemini and other, other um, exchanges as well. So for them to go out and then SIVB, which was more of a venture capitalist, Silicon Valley uh, type bank and now Signature Bank. And I have a list of about 45 other ones that are vulnerable apparently. <laughs> So we'll see what happens, but um, you know, I pulled my profits out. The stuff that is now red, it wasn't, and the stuff that's now red, I will double into momentum. I already did that on crypto this morning, and as soon as it got out to even, not only do I have a lower price, I just sold what I had put in to de-risk. I have a lower price, and that way I don't have you know a lot of taxes because I just sold like right above even 100 bucks or whatever. So I'll show you how I did that too. So you can see the SPY is not below the uh, the primary downtrend. It's on top of it, but it is the pink lights and it is below the 200, okay? The NASDAQ is, I mean, these are lower highs. Essentially, I mean, we could maybe say that this is a, you know, bull flag, I guess. You, you can look at it two ways. You could say this is an impulse, you know, to a bull flag. But I think realistically to me, this is just looking like lower highs and lower lows and a, and a, a, a channel uh, coming down. Uh, so we're just gonna really need to see more information. And if we thought last week was a little crazy, I would expect that this week's gonna be a little nuts too. Uh, I will be making videos, um, but you guys are just gonna have to bear with me because um, you know, I'm like in mourning and like there's like things going on in my life. So I'm do the best I can for you, okay? Um, the Russell took it on the chin hard this week. There's that pink lights under the 200. Your CCI, your Confluence uh, is showing this colored purple candle. So that kind of momentum and strength to the downside is savage. That's why you want those leverage bears. Okay, let me show you a couple things. Okay, so as an example, um i had said you know buy the leverage bears well look at labd this is biotech inverse trading and since the market has fallen this thing has come up a ton drv if if banks fail real estate will go up look at drv it's flying i mean for my first alert you're up like 200 percent. but i had sold it and then rebought it over here and now you're up like another 20 percent. so you are crushing it if you follow that hibs it's another one. I mean, all the leverage bears are going up. But look at Gala on the one hour. Okay, look at this momentum. This is what happens with a flight of safety if, if TradFi starts to fail. So what I did, what I do is I buy the crosses. So when the when the price action goes through, um, see the, the bright green one, that's the price action. So when that goes through and these two EMAs, the five and the nine cross, I buy it and you can wait for it to cross over here or you can just every day follow this blue blue number which follows the blue line and you could just set your stop there. So I had known we were at dangerous waters on you know getting rejected and key levels on 200s and I knew about the I knew about the quant sell off from JP Morgan but what I didn't know was why and I had questioned why over and over and over and over in my mind and I said JP's got to know something they got to know something if they're at all time high defaults on subprime and they're going to de-risk they have to know something well it seems like they did with the banking so remember JP's bailed out the US twice right so you know they you know they know what they're doing um so like you would buy the cross here and then what I do is I just every day I've been, you know, right before I thought it was going to fall, I was, I was moving my stop to the nine. Usually if it goes through the six and it goes through the nine, it'll keep going. But sometimes it won't like, look, this bounced on the nine and kept going. So I would have made more profit on a cross, but that's maybe a little better when you're in a guaranteed 
uh, stage one or phase one or bull run, okay? But we're like at iffy moments at, on the indexes. So I was letting my stops just get hit in the profit. And then stuff that's not in the profit, I'll deal with it later. I will double down into momentum the same way. What I'll do is I'll find something that's down the least amount of percent, like 4% and I'll find momentum on the hourly, and when it's crossing, I'll double triple into it, so I'm just down a fraction, and when it bounces up, and I'm just barely profitable, I'll pull the risk out, leave the original shares I wanted, maybe more I'll make the decision myself, and then I will have a lower price, de-risk, and uh, take that one to green. And then I will work down the list that way and have another opportunity to get a little bit less uh, price whether it's dollars or 50 cents or even ten dollars depending on how big of the you know if you're dealing with an adobe it might be something like 20 bucks or a home depot but if you're dealing with like a ape coin it might be 50 cents or 25 cents you know but percent is percent and uh the fact that you know you're screaming on the hourlies and you go look at the dailies and you're seeing that the, not only do we have a big sell-off what are we looking at gala they're all the same they're all about to cross on the daily which is just insane ethereum look at the shoestring pulling up i mean this is ethereum classic sorry uh it's about to cross but if you go to the hourly and you're trading phew, forget about it uh you would have bought here at 17 bucks uh you got as high as 20 if you were leverage trading, you could literally, you know, put your stop on the five. Uh, and, you know, you can even, you know, really, if you want to go bigger leverage, you could do the same thing on the five minutes. Um, I'm doing a lower leverage and more on the hourly and doing it on, uh, I've, I don't know if I did my stop. I only have one trade open on that, but I'm up, I'm up 101% on it, I think right now. And I might have my stop on the nine. I can't remember if I did the five, but I am doing it on the hourly. So yeah, I mean, look, you gotta be defensive sometimes. You gotta be aggressive sometimes. If we're gonna fall below the 200s, red tides will sink boats, okay? Just like, you know, I say below the 200 bearish, above bullish. If the indexes are above and happy, green tides will lift boats. So we gotta be careful. There's gonna be a lot of news, a lot of variables, a lot of new things can take place this week. Uh, it could be, you know, bailouts, stimulus. It could be a change in the direction from the Fed. But I tell you what, if there's bailouts and more stimulus, the market is going to freak with more spending in an inflationary environment. So expect stocks to go down. If I were to, as a friend, give you two really good picks to consider, I would say DRV and FAZ. F as in Frank, okay? That FAZ is betting that real estate will go down. So that one will go up if real estate goes down and DRV, I'm sorry, DRV is a bet real estate will go down and FAZ is a bet that financials will go down. Let's just look at FAZ so you can kind of get a bearing. Um, I already own them, but look at this momentum. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, this has just been nuts. So, you know, use them as hedges if you didn't want to sell and take your profits or use them to trade and make money. I tend to trade the leverage bears more like on the hourly than the daily uh, because markets can shift really fast. Um, but I will let it ride. And if the markets are going down, these will keep going up and I'll just keep my, my stop tight. And when those stops get hit, then I'm going to start looking at longs to double into and watch the momentum on those. And you just keep playing that game till you have the perfect price, the right amount of, you know, positions and um, position sizing and all this different stuff. And you basically are ready to rock and roll with your portfolio. So yeah, interesting weeks. We'll see if more banks fall. If they do, crypto probably will rally, but be careful because regulators and politicians, they have their eye on crypto. And if fiat and the US dollar and banks, they start to crash, you know, just like every other technology that's ever been invented, they're gonna want their hands on it. And um, so be careful, uh, you know, I don't think you need to worry about the big, big banks, like the top six, but some of the regionals maybe. And uh, definitely it's going to be a data dependent week. So I was just looking at this. Look at this volume that came in on this thing on this. This is a look at the volume on betting financials are going to drop. That's why I was making alerts in my discord to buy that one, too. Um, anyways, look, crypto looking good on a Sunday. I'll tell you that. Um, 
surprised me. I, you know, I, I bought it thinking it would be, you know, a week or two for me to get. I didn't realize I'd be, you know, pulling pulling money back out the same day. I mean, dang. But you know, when that signature bank got seized, um, a, you know, a few hours before I made this video on the weekend. Yeah, that's when it started the pump. So, look, my name's Chris. This is Wheelhouse Trading. I'll get another video out for you. Hope you're doing well. Look, if you want to come in the Discord, it's free. We always help you. A cool group. The link is in the description. If you want to leverage trade, we got a link for Mexi Global in the description. If you're undercapitalized and you need a million dollars to trade with 10x leverage, my link for Surge Trader is in the description and you get 10% off on that. And then Webull is a super great platform and the crypto that you have in there, it's gonna be real crypto. They're making a Webull wallet where you can transfer in crypto and you can transfer out crypto as well. So, and they have quite a quite a few good ones, not as much as Maxi or anything like that. And I will say, if you're gonna buy crypto in Webull, use limit orders because the market orders the spread, you're not gonna get the best price like you would on like Mexi or something. So look, I'm gonna leave it there. I um, hope everybody's doing well. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? You take care.